This is JTV's Metal Show with special guest Brandon Strickland and his awesome cat. So this episode we're going to talk about Lamb of God and um, how awesome they are because in recent news Randy Blythe has just got out of Czech jail. And um, so we're going to talk about that. Lamb of God's first album was Burn the Priest. And uh, I thought it was an awesome album. I heard it and it, it's different from all the Lamb of God albums. Um, because I think they were called Brendan the Priest. Um, I don't know if they were called Lamb of God at the time. But the album's really good. Um, it's different. The quality's not as good as their past albums or their future albums, as I might say. But it's still a great album, and I would listen to it if you're a Lamb of God fan. You know, it's different, and you might like it. Um, you know, I'd probably give it about an 8.0 um, out of 10. No, it's not a bad album, but it's it's decent. I'll give it about a seven. Seven? It's not bad. Not bad. You don't have to like it to be a Lamb of God fan. You don't have to, no. But it's it's just an extra album, and I I thought it was great. It's not bad. And after Burn the Priest came out, they came out with New American Gospel, which was awesome. Um, it's totally different from Burn the Priest. And they have such songs like Black Label, which is awesome. You know, they have Taryn Hubris, which is amazing. Um, you know, and they have some other, you know, tracks on there that are just, just as good as any other ones. Uh, Mariah's Badass. Yeah, it is. And the last song, which is like, OB, you know, Officer Black. Dickhead gets yeah. a black fucking eye. Yeah, that's, that's you know, that's, that's awesome. I You know, I give this album a good... Nine, a good nine out of ten. It's awesome. It's amazing. The only thing that's wrong with it is the quality. The quality of Pretty it. Pretty muddy. Yeah, it, it's it's a little. You could tell they didn't have a lot of money at the time, but it's still a great album. And if they did it in better quality, I think it'd be even better. But man, they 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 were heavy. That I, in that that's yeah, that's yeah. a heavy album, man. The good songs are good, and then the rest are just kind of forgetful. Yeah. I, I, I loved it. I mean, I, you know. I'd give it a, a 7.5 probably. 7.5 yeah. for you? Yeah, it's a great album. So, I mean, man, that's awesome. It's worth checking out. Mm -hmm. Also, in 2003, their next album was probably their breakthrough album. They were way more popular. 2,500, yeah, 250,000 copies in the U.S. alone on this album. Um, it was just awesome. As the Palaces Burn. You know, they actually came out with, um, they also, they actually came out with a video, what, with Ruin? Mm -hmm. Was it Ruin they came out with a video with? And, you know, it was awesome. I mean, they had it set up in a church and, you know, Lamb of God. I mean, the name alone, you know. And it, it was just a really heavy album. You know, it was Gill. Yeah, Big Gill, you know, it's a, it's a slow beginning, but it gets heavy. You know, all of a sudden, it's it's awesome. It's probably their breakthrough album. And it's and a pretty short album too. It's yeah, it is short. Yes, um, I you know I give it a, a good nine. You know, it's heavy, it's good. You know, you'd never expect it out of them. I'd give it about a seven point six. Seven point six. Yeah. To average for me. I well, thought it was I, a good song nonetheless. Mm-hmm. There was a few that are, that sounded alike, but most of them were awesome. You know, I I loved it. You know, a devil in God's country. That's awesome. But uh, good. I, I thought that's it was a great good. album. It's heavy as fuck. It is. In two thousand four, Lamb of God came out with an album called Ashes of the Wake. It was an awesome album. They had some amazing tracks, and it did very well. Um. You know, they had tracks like Omerta, Remorse for the Dead. I mean, those are my signature tracks right there. I, you know, I could listen to them all day. What about you? Oh, yeah, it's their best album. Yeah? Production. They started writing better songs, and they got good production. I, so that, that's like, there you go. 10 out of 10, perfect. I, I gotta agree. You know, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. You know, the production, the quality of it. You know, you can tell they worked their asses off on that album, and it's, you know, it's amazing. Um, I'd give it a good, you know, 9.5 solid. The only thing that's missing from it is, you know, for me, 
just, uh, I don't know, I, for some reason the guitar just didn't sound as good as I thought it could be. But, I mean, it's still great. Every song is heavy, and it, you know, it knocks you on your feet almost every single time you hear it. But, I love it, and, you know, I just thought the guitar could have done a little bit better. I don't know. Philadelphia came out too, and that was that was fucking badass. It, yeah, and you during the dur out. during this era, you know, Philadelphia came out, and everyone knew about the fight scene, you know, between Randy and um, what Mark? Yep. Yep, Randy and Mark. Yeah. Knocked his ass out. So I mean, if you've never seen that and you're a Lamb of God fan, I would totally watch it. And you know, both of their DVDs are awesome. Philadelphia is live, and it shows some backstage footage. It's awesome. So, go ahead and check that out. Yeah, that's the, definitely the best album. Definitely. In 2006, they came out with an album, you know, The Sacrament. It was their most popular album. When it came out, everyone knew about it. You know, it was just, it was remarkably awesome. It ended up, you know, getting on the Grammys. You know, it was just their most popular album. And, you know, you can't blame it. it it's a great album. And... You know, to me, you know, metal almost never gets into the Grammys, and if it does, it's just no one, you know, really cares about them. You know, they're just there, you know, and they're there. So I, I give this album a complete 10 out of 10. You know, Walk With Me In Hell, Again We Rise, you know. Redneck. Yeah, Redneck. That's a big hit. Oh, big. yeah. I mean, even the video is amazing. They go on the tour bus. I mean, it's, it's awesome. I mean, you really, you know, beating on Death's Door. More Time to Kill, Black and the Curse sounds good. I mean, I, I seriously got to give that album a, a it's 10. 10. That, ten. That is a complete 10 for me. The quality of it's amazing. The timing of it's awesome. Randy's vocals are just amazing. You can hear the bass. I mean, just everything on that album just kicks ass. And, you know, I think they got the respect they deserve on that one. You know, they went to the Grammys. You know, even though they lost to Slayer, it's, it's still a great hit. So, I mean... You know, that's just my opinion on it. I and mean, they released another DVD with it, Walk With Me In Hell. <clears throat> yeah, they did. They released a DVD, you know, Walk With Me In Hell, and it shows some awesome footage. You know, they, it just shows how awesome the band is. You know, they're funny. You know, they they played around with the whips, and they were over in Japan. It's bad. It's a good DVD. I, I get it. It is. I have it. It's you know, I totally watch it. You know, Lamb of God fans, you'll love it. In the year 2009, Lamb of God's next album was Wrath. And uh, when it came out, everyone saw the video for Set to Fail. It was different, and uh, it just sounded more like garage. That's where they were going. They were going for that garage sound. Yeah, it, it sounded more like, you know, they just did it really quick, you know, and they just, I, I don't know. It, it sounded different to me, you know. I mean, I don't know, but my favorite track would be Dead Seeds, probably, and Grace. You know, Set to Fail was probably not their best. I wouldn't have made a video out of that, but I don't know. What do you think? I like some of the songs. Grace and Your Words. Pretty good. Yeah. So, if you want to get into it, you can. It doesn't yeah. really stand out. I, you know, I totally agree. I mean, I, I think it's awesome. I, 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 I give the album about a good 7.0. I mean, it's definitely not their best, but it's not their worst. You know, um, it's, it's all right. I mean, it's... A, it's an okay album, you know, it's not their best, but I, I think personally it's what they wanted to do and, and it wasn't for the fans. So, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not for sure, but I, I do I do like the album now. I'll give it a complete, complete flat 7 out of 10. Yep, same with me, 7 out of 10. Three years later, Lamb of God comes out with an album that is awesomely different Awesome, I mean, just every track is different, and it's a different sound for them, you know, and it's it's called Resolution, and, you know, when it came out, you know, I I didn't expect it out of them, you know, as soon as you put on the album, the first track, you know, I mean, just straight for the sun, it's a slow, heavy riff, you know, it's, it's heavy, and it's amazing, um, I loved it, and, you know, I my probably my second favorite song is King Me, which is it's the last song. It's awesome. Ghost Walking, you know. I, I thought it was a great album. Um, what do you think, Brandon? Just I love it. All the songs are different. Uh, 
Terminally Unique's my favorite. That song's fucking heavy as fuck. King Me's awesome. Cheated's pretty cool because at the end he says, you ever get the feeling you've been cheated? And that's what the fucking dude from Sex Pistols said in one of their gigs when they were getting pissed off. So that was a nod to them. And, yeah. Uh, it's With, a good album. I give it a 10. 10? Yeah. Yeah, for me, I give it a good 8 out of 10 for me. Um, it's, it's, the reason why, you know, it's not a 10 out of 10 for me is probably because, you know, it, it, it's not like, you know, Sacrament or Ashes of the Wake, it's different. It, it's heavier, it's more, you know, they, they went different styles with it, like, it, you know, it could be punk, you know, there's like punk added into it, you know, it's faster, Randy actually sings, um, it, it's different, you know, you gotta wrap your head around it, and... You know, I'm still trying to get through, you know, it's it's just one of those different albums. It'll take me about a year to fully get a, you know, a full answer. But for me right now, it's a good eight, and I, I think it's awesome, you know. They took a three-year break, you know, and um, I thought it's awesome. It's good. Well, the members from Lamb of God, we're going to go through them. Um, first one, we'll do Chris Sadler, the drummer. Um... I, I, li I like Chris Adler. I think he's a good guy. Uh, he's funny, very technical on the drums, very heavy, fast. You know, I mean, just him alone on the drums, I could listen to him for hours. I mean, I don't know for you. I mean, he's, yeah, he's he's really good. I mean, I think he's a great drummer. You know, some people consider him one of the greatest drummers right now of his time. Um, I think he's awesome. So uh, I don't know. That's Chris Adler, the drummer. Next is John Campbell. He plays bass, and um, not really much to say. I mean, you know, he plays bass, and uh, he does well. I mean, he's never messed up on any of the albums. I mean, <laughs> I mean, not much to say. I mean, he's a great guy and funny on all the DVDs. He has a, what, like uh, he plays poker or something? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a funny guy. They're funny all guy. really funny. You gotta watch the DVDs. Oh, I know. And next we have uh, Mark Morton, and uh, he's awesome. That's my favorite, remember? Mark Morton? Oh, yeah, his beard is so badass. I give that a complete 10. Just the beard yeah. alone, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Mark Morton's awesome on guitar. Um, you know, isn't he the one that he's more into the blues? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can definitely tell, like on a Gimme Rise, you can definitely hear the blues. Um, some songs you can definitely tell. Um, you know, I think, I think he's awesome. And, um... That's my opinion on him, you know. And uh, next we got freaking uh, Willie Adler, you know. He's awesome. You know, I hear that, you know, I hear that Willie Adler and Mark Morton, when they're making an album, it's just them two in a room. And then, you know, Campbell will come in there and he'll end up joining them eventually. But most of the time when they're writing a new album, it's just them two in the room just jamming out for hours at a time. You know, Randy doesn't even... He's not even there. He just waits until the songs are all done, and then he puts the, you know, puts the lyrics into it. But I don't know. I mean, those two must work really hard to make one album that they're spending that much time. You know. Yeah. Those two just jamming. They just start riffing and they come up with shit. Yeah. <coughs> and he's awesome. He's more the heavy side, you know. So, you know, Willie's just awesome. I mean, if you watch him play like solo, he's just amazing. He's very fast. You know, just straight to the point. You know, he's a great guitar player. And uh, big news lately, Randy Blythe. You know, some of the greatest vocals I've ever heard. You know, very heavy. You know, I, I thought it was cool on the DVD where the, you know, when they were filming Walk With Me In Hell, they made him run around the building, you know, and then come in and sing vocals. Yeah. You know, I thought that was cool. You know, um, you know, and he... he on the, on the last album, you know, he's starting to sing, so I mean, it's it's cool, and I like it. I mean, it's different, and you know, who knows? Maybe he might have a better voice than we think. <laughs> I like how he looks now. He's got like long hair and shit. Yeah, he's been bald. He's had long hair. Randy's awesome, but here lately, he's uh, he's been murdering people. Yeah, yeah. He got accused <laughs> of something that has nothing to do with him. What happened like two years ago? Yeah, I don't. I don't they're saying he didn't do it. I don't know. I. Who knows? If he didn't do it, I hope he, you know. It ha well, look, it happened two years ago. The kid, look, if you go to a metal show, you're going to end up getting pushed off. What happens when we go to state? 
you get on you get on top of the stage, they throw you off. You know, if you die, I mean that's not their you know it's just fuck it, you know. It's not their fault. I mean that'd be like, you know, the bouncers push you off, what are you gonna do? Arrest the bouncer? I mean it's, it's check jail, you know, prison must have sucked. You know, I mean it's just it's bullshit. It, it should have never happened to Randy. And it you know, that's right. He's I'm free now, so it's all good. Yeah, he's free now, so we'll we'll see what happens in the upcoming, you know, stages throughout this whole thing. I mean, he paid bail, what, twice? I mean, I don't know. But, Randy, we're glad you're out. You know, glad you're out and free and hope to see you at NotFest. So, yep. that's it. And now, this is the segment of our show where we do the pick of the week. Pretty much, you know, we pick an album, book, or anything that we think is awesome from, you know, you know, just an album or anything that we think is great. And, um... I'll, I'll start with, uh, I bought this when it first came out. I didn't really know who Dima Borger was, and it's uh, called In Sort Digna Valley. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but it's a great album. I listened to it, I watched the DVD, and once I listened to this, I fell in love with them, and I listened to almost every single thing that they put out. Um, this album, to me, is a good, you know, 9 out of 10. I would definitely, you know, pick it up yeah. when I'm out. Um, you know, if you're not into black metal probably won't like it, but I mean, if you're a big black metal person, it's, def it's definitely really awesome and uh, heavy and probably the most evil album you listen to, um, but I mean, it's great, uh, Hellhammer, awesome, so, uh, Brandon, what's your pick? My pick's uh, Mastodon on the Hunter, it's kind of uh, similar to what he said, it got me into Mastodon, it's just a really good fucking album, uh, Curl the Burl is probably the best song I've ever written. A lot of people think they said that's their sellout song, but it's fucking badass. And uh, Stargasm, I love that song. Creature Lives, the uh, the drummer sings on it. Uh, Braun, he's a really good singer. He actually, I think he wrote it on a fucking keyboard or something. And then the bass player was like, Troy, he was like, you know, we need to put this on the album. This is good. So they went and they did it. And I don't know. I, I just love that album. I'll give it a complete 10. Yep. I'd pick it up. That is a, that is, yeah that uh, that got me into all their other ones like I always thought Crack the Sky was shit but now I'm starting to like it just because I don't know it's just starting to sound good to me yeah I, I agree with Brian on that albums get better with time it does mm -hmm. so that's our pick for the week and um, yeah that's it and also we're we're gonna talk about you know Metallica their top five best albums and uh, Brandon I'll let you go first all right load. Injustice, Lightning, Puppets, and uh, Saint Anger. Is that is that in order? Uh, that's just some random. I like all their albums. I just picked five random ones. <laughs> yeah, all their albums are great. My my top. It's hard to. It's really hard to pick a top. But for me, it, it's probably gonna be Master Puppets number one. Number two is probably Ride the Lightning. Kill 'em All for number three. Oh man. Um, I'm gonna have to say Death Magnetic number four, and number five is Saint Anger. Um, I think that's you know the top five for me. I love all their albums except Black Elm. Yeah, Black Elm's. Yeah. Uh, I just think it's shit super well, popular for me. They overplay it on the radio. I mean, every time you hear Metallica, it's either Inner Sandman or Sad but True. Yeah, and well, the material of it's fucking <coughs> radio friendly too. So fuck that. It. Yeah, that too. And uh, we're gonna do uh, one segment. Metallica had Dave Mustaine and Kirk Hammett, and uh, who do you think's better in your opinion? Kirk. Dave and I don't know anything. Fuck Dave. Mega Death shit. It's true. I, I gotta agree. You know, Kirk's amazing. You know, he's in Exodus, and you know, now he's a Metallica, and he's amazing. If it wasn't for Kirk, you know, who knows? I mean, I'm glad they kicked Mustaine out. You know, he didn't deserve to be in the band. I mean... That's just my opinion, you know. He was just a fucking Mustang on the music. And that's just my opinion, but, um... But, yeah, that's pretty much all we have for the show. Um, if you guys want, you could submit questions, you know. Kind of like how they do with Eddie, Stump the Trunk. But submit some, and uh, we'll answer them the best we can. So, um, this is JTB's, you know, metal show. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Send some questions, you know, watch, favorite, like. 
and um, we'll get back to you. And uh, if you guys keep watching, we'll have a season two. So thank you guys, and uh, peace out.